Hey, how you doing, super coders? Welcome back to our new lecture. And in this lecture, we will be printing this particular pattern. I highly suggest you that if you have not watched my previous video in which I am printing a pattern something like this, then you should be watching that. And also watch my video on magic pattern concepts because that's really important to print all the patterns. So let's get ahead with this pattern. So, uh, see first, the pattern is somewhat like this for the value of n is equal to 5 1 2 3 4 5 yes for n is equal to 5 so let me just uh, draw a pattern something like this so the first for n is equal to 4 let's say first three spaces will be printed then a star then two spaces a star then a space then one space star space space then star space 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 if you are coming back from my previous video and um, you have watched my previous video then you must be knowing that we already know how to print this particular box of 4 by 4 in which we are printing stars in each line you already know that i am using the magic star funda loop to print that because there are four times that i am printing this so loop is running four times and inside the loop we are using magic star funda where each time i am giving the count four and if the user has entered n, then the loop will be run n times. And each time I will be giving inside the magic star funda loop the value n. Let's quickly write this. So first I'm going to be printing the box 1 to n plus 1. We already know how to print this. Okay. So I'm not going to be taking much of a time to print this. And then we simply print a star ending with a tab. Let's say there's a tab in between. Okay. And then when we come out of this loop, I have to make sure that I end the loop with a so that the cursor moves to the next line. I have to use this backslash in. And yes, we are done with our basic starting skeleton of the code let's run it and it is going to be printing the box of five stars now let's go further and analyze our code over here i do not want to print these lines okay these these stars i don't want to print them this one then this one then this one then this this and this okay we just need to print the highlighted red ones so this is the row 1 and this is column 4 so this is row 1 and column 4 this is row 2 and column 3 this is row 3 and column 2 this is row 4 and column 1 can you observe something from over here that the sum of the row and column is always 5 this was for the input when I'm getting the value of n as 4. So can I say that whenever the value of i plus j is equal to n plus 1, then I have to print star. Otherwise, print spaces or over here in this in this question, print tabs. Okay. So quickly I am writing if the value of i plus j is equal to n plus 1. Simply we have to print this star and otherwise I need to print a tab tab got printed and over here this star got printed let's run it mm. okay it's apparently giving us some error so basically the error is over here because I have not made sure that the cursor stays in the same line so I have to use this. Okay. Now the cursor will stay in the same line and our answer also got accepted and let's submit it. And after that we can do away with this video and also let's do a code as because we have not done it in a while. And also because the problem was a bit difficult. Okay.